In this video, I want to go over what tick charts are so you can see some of the benefits of using them as opposed to our regular time-based charts. And honestly, they're not going to appeal to everyone. Uh, nothing does. But I think some of you are going to see the benefit of these, especially when you use it as a trade entry tool. So what are tick charts? Well, basically, they're different than time-based charts because a tick chart will only plot when N, which is any number you want, amount of transactions take place. For example, a one hour chart of a candlestick chart was gonna plot a new candlestick every 60 minutes, regardless of the amount of transactions that have occurred. Now a tick chart, using a 2000 tick chart for an example, is only gonna print a new candlestick when the 2000th transaction has taken place. And you can set that number of ticks that you need uh, depending on the type of trader you are, you could set it to any number. So why would we use them? Well, traders that really promote the use of tick charts, they find that the static nature of time is irrelevant to their trading. What's more important to them is how quickly that market's moving. Now reading tick charts is pretty simple. Each bar is going to plot depending on the setting, which determines how many transactions have to take place. This is a stock chart of Apple, and we're comparing the 15-minute time-based chart and the 1,000 tick chart. Now, the red line is the area of the open, and on the time-based chart, the 30 minutes has a run-up in price. So unless you're right in at the open, there's no chance for you to get into that move. But on the tick chart, we actually get a price range at the open, and that lasts for 12 minutes before price decides to run up. So the price action on the tick chart actually gives you ample opportunity to make money on the upside in this particular chart. Now, later on in the day, when the time-based chart starts to range, the tick chart actually gives you trading opportunities inside of that range. From a trading opportunity view, the tick chart, I think, is gonna give you a greater chance of getting a trade-off than the time-based charts would. Now, of course, that depends on what you set your time-based chart to. There's also less price noise. Remember, a time-based chart is gonna plot every X minutes, which can lead to a chart that's pretty messy. Price ranges are pretty common in markets and depending on the time setting, you'd be hard pressed to trade them. But on a tick chart, that can highlight the price movement that forms the time chart and either print less candlesticks or bars or more depending on the market that you're trading. The vertical lines here, that highlights the same time period. And while the five minute chart seems to drift down into a range, the tick chart actually gives you pullbacks that you can short on the way down. So the range shows the price pattern of lower highs coming in, which can give you an early warning of the breakout. The time-based chart, well, that price action is drifting and that's pretty hard to trade. What about tick charts and volume? Well, that actually shows the bigger money. So big money, it moves the market, we all know that. And due to the nature of tick charts, when you add volume to the mix, it gives you a good look into when the big guns are stepping in to trade. That's the same chart we just looked at, but I've added volume. The red arrow highlights the same point in time. Big volume on the tick chart is actually a small green candlestick. So there's not a big showing of volume on the time based chart at all. Even more importantly, the white arrow, it highlights a large red candlestick breaking out of the range. Now this would bring in breakout traders to the downside, but the volume the candle before had, it tipped the hand. This was gonna be a false breakout. Traders that look at this way and trade tick charts would have faded the breakout. And as you can see on the next candle, price took back half of that red candle. Now early entries. Now remember, we're using the same data, we're using price. You're seeing the same thing, but price is just shown differently. With time-based charts, you're gonna to need to wait number of minutes, whatever you set that to, before that bar closes, if you enter on close. And this can oftentimes have you miss a large move or at least have you needing a bigger risk on that trade. And as we've seen in those other charts, the nature of tick charts actually gives you better price action trading setups, earlier signs of upcoming price movements. And in the end, I think it gives you more opportunity to make money. Can we use them on Forex charts? See, well, the issue with Forex is that there is no centralized exchange, so real tick chart readings are impossible. And I get it. Many people only have enough capital to trade the spot Forex market and not the actual futures, and that's fine. But there's nothing stopping you from using currency futures 
to chart the price movement and then using your spot account to place a trade. The tick chart here, hands down, it gives you a much better view of the price action. The high of the day on the 10 minute time chart appears as momentum. However, look at the highs on the tick chart. We have increased volume without further price advancement. So the time-based chart would be a tough day trade scalp, but plotting the tick chart, trading a support break at the highs gives 20 pips. Now remember in Forex, 20 pips, depending on your lot size, could be a small gain or a large gain. So don't just look at 20 pips and laugh that that's not enough. So what are my final thoughts? They're unique and that they're only going to plot when the desired number of transactions takes place. Now, ultimately, your choice of tick settings is going to be the deciding factor in how fast they plot. So you might want to consider when you're trading fast moving markets with a lot of volume, you probably want a higher setting, such as a 2000 tick chart. Again, that's going to depend on you. But note that when you have a lower setting, the price action can be extremely fast and you may not be able to trade it. Deciding on the tick that you're going to use, really many traders just use Fibonacci numbers to determine the settings. 233, 377, 610, 987, it's nothing magic. You can also do multiple tick chart trading. So you have a high tick chart setting for setups, right? Maybe 4,500. And then you dial into a lower tick setting, 1,000 to 1,500 to determine your entries. Price patterns, in my opinion, are easier with tick charts because the price movements are cleaner and they're easier to trade for my eye, maybe not for yours. But the key is, and I always say this with everything that we do in trading, you got to test it before you do it. Okay. It makes no sense to not trust the style of trading or the system you're using. So you really want to ensure that you can back up the whys behind your trading approach. Thanks for watching. Give them a try. Any questions or comments, please just pop them below.